Hi, I'm Asha. I'm Josie. <laughs> I'm Elena. I'm Lulu. And we're here with Fozzie. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for coming. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Team Press. Um, so, Matthew Rosenberg, who you're speaking with, um, said people are never going to change if you dismiss them. How do you face people that are against what you stand for? Uh, well, I think I gave everybody the right to express their view if it's against me or in support of me. But I think um, to change people's perspective and view, you need to talk to them. But I think there is some level of uh, pressure. They need to realize that what they do is wrong. Um, and I think the governments sometimes are responsible to make people, that's why we have laws in different countries. If, if people are not respecting rule of law, not respecting the constitution, then I think they should be account responsible for that. Thank you. And one more question. Um, what is it like to be in parliament in a country where some men don't even think women should ride bikes? <laughs> it's not very easy. It's very, very difficult, in fact. And, and sometimes there are days that uh, I think, why should I continue it? Because it's so difficult. And sometimes it can actually take your personal life as well because uh, you know you're so busy with what you do and then at the end of the day you don't see much change um, it gets uh, disappointing sometimes but I think um, uh, when you see the impact of what you do in long term and when you see that people understand that and you see that it actually changes the life of some people that's hopeful uh, and promising and then uh, as, as a woman it, it's more difficult but in fact as a woman you make more, more impact because you're opening the door for others. Thank you so much. At the coffee talk today, you said that women in Afghanistan and women in Afghanistan are considered as second-class citizens and cannot travel without um, a man to accompany them. Why do you think they made that law? It is not a law, it's a statement by a religious council that uh, made this statement. Um, I think sometimes most of these statements are politically driven statements. I think they are afraid of the woman power and woman progress, and I think they would like to make all kinds of statements to stop woman progress. Women of Afghanistan don't want to Women of Afghanistan want to progress within their values, within their religion. So um, most of these women are very religious women. I mean, they are not asking for uh, American women's uh, rights. They are not asking for rights as American women, but they are asking for basic within their religion. Unfortunately, some, sometimes that is also being dismissed because they think if women get more freedom, they lose power and control, as, as men. Um, have you seen any strong improvements in women's civil rights recently in Afghanistan? Like, what's happening now? Uh, a lot. Um, things have really changed for women since the uh, Taliban regime, or comparing to the Taliban regime. Women can go to school like you, you go. Uh, of course, it's not the same situation. Uh, in schools, they don't have school building. They have to study under the sun, sometimes under the rain. And they don't have enough stationery. But they still go to school. Women can go to access doctors and medical co uh, medical uh, clinics. It's not easy because they have to sometimes work for days to get a, to a clinic. Um, but at least there is that freedom that they nobody will stop them. So a lot of changes and progress, but uh, that could be at risk if uh, Americans try to pull from Afghanistan. And um, was there a specific moment in your life when you knew that something had to change for you and other women in Afghanistan? Yeah, when women actually were elected for parliament, and when I was elected as the first woman to be the deputy speaker of a parliament that uh, a lot of men with turban, uh, with ties, uh, progressive, ex extreme, uh, conservative men were sitting in that parliament, and I was chairing that uh, parliament, that was the moment I thought that uh, we will not go back to the scratch. So since the Taliban exited, what percentage of women are attending university? Um, unfortunately, uh, there is not accurate data about um, uh, women involvement, but I think I can say that 25% uh, to 20 
18 to 25 percent of the total students who go to university are girls now. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know what, girls? I just made a suggestion here. If you want to, you're a student, I understand. But if you want to support this um, campaign that uh, you, you sponsor one girl to go to university uh, by providing her $50 per month, then just let me know. Um, uh, put your email here. I can email you. You put you in touch with that girl so that you support. If you want to support, if you're able, I know you're students. But uh, just let you know in case you want it.